Hey everyone, this is Nick from QBM, and on this video we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to do a playback of an event or stored video clip from the view log. The first thing you'll need to do is log into a user that has enough authority or permission to access the view log tab. If we go down to the bottom here in our bubble menu, we'll go to the third one from the right, that is our view log. We'll click on that then we'll go to the video audio log tab click on that and just like the warning in some of our other videos if you get this warning it's not a big deal uh, most people do not have that audio hooked up to their geovision so it really doesn't apply let's go ahead and ignore it okay now we're on our view log page here and what you're going to want to make sure to have ready is the camera the date and the time so that you know where to look for your event at. If we go to the right up here, there's a drop down menu. And this first tab here has a secondary drop down menu to choose which camera we're looking for our event on. And then beneath that, there's a secondary drop down menu. It's our calendar menu. And you click on that, and that will bring up the date or the month and then the date. The more time you have recorded, the more dates there will be. And then that brings up a host of video events down below underneath. And all you have to do is search for your event and click on it. There we go. And then if we go down to the bottom here, you'll see this blue square. That just, go, that just goes ahead and shows us that we have our correct date and time. And we'll go to the right here and you'll see some things you're familiar with. Uh, play button, stop button little tracking bar. So let's go ahead and click play. And now it's playing our event in real time as recorded. We can pause it. Click it one more time for it to start playing again. We can stop the event and it brings our tree back up. So if we go back to play and let it run and then pause it again, if you look, there's some secondary buttons here. What these two allow you to do is go forward or backwards frame by frame. Each tap will drop you back one frame. If you notice right here, it's going back just a minute amount of time each tap. If you're trying to get a precise picture on the video to look at something specific, it's pretty good instead of trying to stop in real time. It'll, it's hard sometimes. And then the next arrows on the outside, the home buttons and the end button, that'll jump you to the beginning or all the way to the end of your event. Jump back to the beginning using our home button. We can hit play and pause. Now if we know our event, say what we're looking for somewhere around here on our timeline, you can just go ahead and go over to the little bar and drag it down towards the amount of time that you're looking for. And then from there, go ahead and hit play. Drag it back a little bit. Now you'll notice an up and down arrow here. What that allows you to do is speed up or slow down the speed at which you're playing with. So as I tap it, if you look over here, you'll see times two, times four, all the way up to times 32 speed. We can drop it back down using the down arrow, times eight, times four, times two, and then normal, normal speed, times one. And what you'll see next to that tab is the zoom feature. Go ahead and activate it by clicking the plus. Now from here, you can either keep hitting the plus to zoom in further, or use the roll bar on your mouse once you've activated it the first time. Roll up and down to zoom in and out. Or hit the minus to zoom out. Now we're back at normal size for the camera. we look over here you'll notice an A and a B button. What that's called is an AB loop so you can create any amount of time you'd like the video to keep looping at within your event. So what you have to do is just activate play. Go ahead and click it once for your A point. Let it run to the amount of time you'd like to set the loop for and then click it one more time for your B. And it will loop within that amount of time that we've set. over and over. 
it's looping back here every few seconds that we set from our start to stop. And then right here, it's just a secondary menu. It looks like a little clock. And that allows you to play at uh, different frame rates, real time or frame by frame, like we were talking about with the little small arrow in the line. Um, just a few different features for speed on your playback. All right, guys, that's how you view a video within your GeoVision view log. Uh, thank you for viewing.